Welcome to Rhodes Wrestling Academy, Showcase 10. This is the natural Dustin Rhodes coming to you live and in color, baby. Tonight, we have three big title matches. The men's, the women's, and the newly minted tag team titles. The tag team championship will be in the main event for a two out of three falls, 30 minute time limit between the newly Texas Outlaws against the homegrown RWA Outlaws. The Outlaws all together, oh my God, what can happen? Anything can happen. It's gonna be fun. Strap in, sit down, subscribe, like, and don't you forget, RWA is the future. These kids have worked hard. Let's go, let's have some fun. But one more thing, zoom in here just a little bit. Fuck the rock. At its finest and purest form, it is the greatest spectator sport on the planet. We have arrived! Rhodes Wrestling Academy, where passion lives here. Welcome to the Rhodes Wrestling Academy 10th Student Showcase. I'm Stu Myrick alongside Ryan Belfort. You heard Dustin talk about it. And Ryan, you're the manager for the RWA Outlaws who have a chance in the main event to become the very first RWA Tag Team Champions. That is right. The RWA Outlaws are taking on the Trader Park Boys, the Texas Outlaws. And let me tell you something, Steve. I do not trust anyone who has 12 vehicles in their driveway and the only thing that moves is their house. We're taking you down. We're gonna be the first RWA Tag Team Champions. That's one of seven matches on the card. Two other title matches, including the RWA Championship, which is about to be defended right now in a three-way. So let's go to the ring for the action. Let's go, RWA! Let me hear it off! It's a three-way match. It's my time! It's it is my the RWA As we get set for championship action, we see our first challenger, Ozzy, coming to the ring. He has Hope. been the bridesmaid, never been the bride. We'll see if he changed that today. Making his way to the ring, it is C.D. Bennett. C.D. Bennett? Current RWA student out of his 10th class, 31 years old, out of Oklahoma City. Kicks, football player. Look at this guy. I'm going to tell you right now. Got some swagger to him, that's for sure. I don't like him. You don't like many people. So I, I don't. I don't take that too, with too much of a you know, grain of salt. Okay. Okay. And finally making his way to the ring, it is your current RWA men's champion, Corey Constantine. Corey Constantine, the sixth RWA champion, won that title from HIT, has been representing it throughout Texas. In fact, just recently had a match against the gutter snake, Izzy James, up at Texoma Pro Wrestling, Robert Langdon promotion up near the Texas-Oklahoma border. But now, Corey Constantine back here at the RWA to defend that title. And you know he cannot be pleased that he has two challenges. You know Fine for it. He's been brushing shoulders with the great one behind the scenes at WWE. He's been working over at AEW. The man knows how to get around. 
definitely does. And now he's, he flashes that belt in front of his challenge. I love that. I, I just he's, love that. Don't do that to my boy Austin. It's fun. You know, seven. And, and of course, that's the ironic thing about these three-way matches. He does not have to be figured into the decision. He does it, does he? To lose the title. So it's going to be one of those cases where he's got to have eyes in the back of his head. I think he does. I think he does. Hair's a little different color this time, too. Our, our referee, Misty Mark, showing off that beautiful RWA championship belt. That should be my belt, too. I should be managing the champions. I was going to say, it's not your belt. You're not in the ring. I'm now, as far as managing, well, that's, you know, that's up to your boys. And here we go. Bell has sounded. Each, each com competitor kind of feeling each other out. I don't think they're going to be doing first. Well, they, you know, again, three-way matches is a lot different strategy than one-on-one. So, Let's see who, who gets the upper hand in the early going. This is definitely not the kind of menage a trois I'd like to be in. I don't even want to think about that. <laughs> Nonetheless, <laughs> ah, double chop there by Ozzy and Bennett. Sends Corey Constantine rolling out of the ring. Smart strategy. Oh, oh. And now, oh. the ninth class and the tenth class standing up to each other. Ozzy with that waist lock. Going back and forth with each other right now. Yeah, it's going to be, what the hell? Oh, good Lord. This is ridiculous. This what? is absolutely uh, insane. Corey Constantine, you're supposed to be in the match. I am in the match. Okay, then why are you sitting here? Because I'm a utility player. Now, you realize if one of those gets a pinfall, you're no longer champion. Stu, 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 Stu. How many times have you been in the ring, Stu? I have not been in the ring. Okay, so then you should understand that this is also strategy. You see how hard these two guys are going right now? It's incredible. You, also, you yeah. can also understand anything can happen in a match. I don't think that either one of these are going to be any any jeopardy at any point in the near future. Yeah, for Outstanding a lot of athleticism. champions. athleticism. Look at this. Look at this C.D. Bennett. He's brand new to this game. He I might have caught him, but I never, I never was. And, and so far he is, but he's impressive nonetheless. Got the roll up. Ah, but just a two count there on Ozzy. All right, this is getting and a little now, You're right, you're up. right, you're right. <laughs> and Corey Costine heads off. He, he came out of nowhere and snatched <laughs> my headset. I didn't even see him. Uh, I saw more of a handoff, but that, nevertheless, uh, I had to remind him, you know, he, he could be sitting here and end up losing his title. He knows what he's doing, Stu. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, oh, nice wow. little show of respect by Ozzy and C.D. Bennett. No! Ah, double back elbows. And now Corey Constantine up and over. And we're, and we're back to Ozzy and C.D. Bennett. Now, hold on. I'm going to tell you something right now. There's no way that this washed-up athlete is going to do anything against my guy, Ozzy. Okay, which one? Which one's washed up? Because both of them look in prime shape. You know who I'm CD talking Bennett. about. CD Bennett. This one close. Oh. CD Bennett. Strikes there by Ozzy. You know what, Stu? Something about CD Bennett that you probably didn't know. He has got a degree in business management. Let me tell you something. Actually, I did know that, but you're good. Good job on the research. He doesn't. He doesn't have. Oh, a and manager. check this out, Corey Bennett, Corey Constantine, and CD Bennett. Fighting here on the outside, constantly with that uppercut. See, if you had a manager, there would be somebody in between that not letting it happen. Oh! oh! Ozzy! My God! Through the ropes! <laughs> oh! God! Oh, and then gets posted by Constantine. That's, Good Lord. That's going to leave a mark, Stu. And that post is nothing but metal. As CD Bennett, Constantine with the pin. Again, only a two count. I'm not, I, I am not liking what's going on with Ozzy right now. He's down on the ground. He is not moving. Meanwhile, Constantine with those hammer, hammer em, em, elbows and now just wrenching on that neck of C.D. Bennett. Come on, Corey. Take his ribs out. Make it to where he can't breathe. Successive knee strikes. What does that sign say back there? 
SCK number one, whatever that means. Constantine with the cover. Again, just a two count. Should be Corey Constantine number one. In this match for the for the RWA championship, Corey Constantine the champion. CD Bennett out of the tenth class. Ozzy out of the ninth or excuse me, seventh class. Yes. Constantine off the ropes. Oh, a big boot there by the champion. And knocks Ozzy off the apron. He knows how to use that boot. Constantine with cover. <laughs> and again, only a two count. He's looking a little upset about this. He's wanting this to end quickly. And I'll tell you why. Because he's dealing right now with the washed up football player. Here's what a man. Hey, running back. Running back's a great position. Yeah, well, he got ran right out of Oklahoma. Some knees to the midsection there. Oh, my God. Here nice go. maneuver, and now oh, oh, oh. a bit of almost a Rick Rude neck breaker there by, by the champion. I liked it. Comes over for the cover. Lot. And again, oh, Chris Smith cover. Successive two counts. C.D. Bennett, though, good on him, having that strategy in his I, head. I feel like Misty was trying to do a quick count on that one. You always think a quick count. What nice knee there again What's by Constantine. On? And uh, Ozzy oh! off the top rope and then catches the knee. <laughs> and now Constantine with the cover. And again, only a two count. That was a knee from hell. I love my boy Ozzy, but I'm sorry. Corey's the champion right now. And now. I go after the winners. Now Constantine using that rope. Choke him out. Choke this him out. Mark's giving him the five count. Sorry, Austin. I love you. But I'm loving the pain you're going through. Look at him. He's dying in there. Oh! But now just, just inflicting more punishment on his challenger. I told him he should have cut his hair. I told him he should have cut his hair. Listen to me. And now look at what's happening. He's about he has to a nice head of hair. He does. He does. Now Constantine. Uh, mop head. Ozzy into the turnbuckle. Oh, but Ozzy able to get the foot up. Temp separation there by Ozzy. And now Ozzy, those successive blows. Knee coming in at you, Ozzy. I'm sorry, buddy, but it doesn't look like today's going to be your day. Like I said, Bridesmaid, never the bride. Oh! Short arm clothesline there by Constantine and Ozzy in a bad way on the on the mat. These people have no respect for their champion. They're garbage. They're gutter trash. Ozzy trying to fight out of it. Successive blows. Oh, misses with the Pele kick. Oh, but. Corey Constantine definitely did not miss with that roundhouse kick. That is how you connect, Stu. It hit its mark, and Ozzy just, he is in absolute agony. Sixth champion, no one's going to number seven. That's what he's saying right now. Constantine off ropes. Ooh. Oh. Right to the back of the head of Ozzy. He's going again. Oh, he's going Constantine again. Constantine off ropes again and again. Just success and needs to the back of the neck, the back of the head. Listen to this crowd. They are ridiculous. They Once again, <laughs> third time's a charm. Inflicting Six punishment. Six. Meanwhile, C.D. Bennett coming into the ring. No! Oh, big spear! Oh, my and, God! And C.D. Bennett, he is on fire right now. Definitely managed that spear well. I'll give him that. Oh my God. And now, CD Bennett, big splash into Ozzy in the corner. Oh! Nice belly to belly. Going for the cover. Here's the count. And again, two and a half there. Oh! Oh my God! Beautiful. CD Bennett could be champion. Oh! Maybe I was wrong. Maybe he's not a washed up. Two, two and three quarters. Did you see that? Stewart. The hand was on its way down. But CeeDee Bennett, have to, he has to go back to his trade. He has to stay on, stay on Ozzy. 
Look at the angst. Look at the agony in Ozzy's face. He is he taking is, the punishment of this match. Taking a lot of punishment, both from Corey Constantine and now from C.D. Bennett. Bennett has him in that front face lock. What's he got in store? I don't see it happening. Looks like a suplex. No. Has no. him up. Oh, Ozzy up and go. over. There we go. Just and a now, bit too much showboating. Yeah, Ozzy with that waist lock. And C.D. Bennett trying desperately to get out of that waist lock. Fight out of it. Oh, reverses it. Ozzy in the ropes. Nice double axe handle there. And again by Ozzy. Duck under. Off the ropes. Oh! Nice sling blade. <laughs> and now Ozzy is on fire. Ozzy sizing him up. Woo! Big drop kick in the corner. The pride and of now. Camp 7 right here. Look at this. He's coming at you. And now Ozzy has him in, in position. Uh -oh. Could it be a prowl driver? C.D. Bennett using his weight to block it. And now oh! Bennett with a sidewalk slam. And now both Bennett and Ozzy are down. See the referee checking. Meanwhile, the champion, Corey Constantine, rolling back in the ring. He sees both of his challengers on the mat. That was quite... A stop to Bennett, stop to Ozzy. Look at this. Corey's taking advantage. He knows exactly what he's going to do Ta right now. Taking a little too much time. Oh! Emulating the rock. We well, saw that. We saw that rock bottom. Oh, double splash. Pin on Ozzy. Got the cover, but nope. Only a two count. Goes over, tries to pin CD Bennett. And again, only a two count. He's upset. Well, he should I be upset. Too. He took too much time there, Stu. That showboating. I think that showboating cost him. And now, all three men jockey with the position. Ozzy. Constantine has Ozzy in the corner. He's got to be careful. Knees into the midsection. Both Ozzy and C.D. Bennett want to take it out on Corey. And now. He's got to be careful right here. Yeah, well, and meanwhile, Corey Constein, big chop to Ozzy there in the corner. Now goes up, up on the second rope. Oh, trying to pick him up, possibly for a superplex. Ozzy fighting out of it. I don't know who to root and, for. Ozzy and now, or Corey. I Ozzie. love them both. All right, try oh. to push him off. Oh. No. Ozzy off the rope. Meanwhile, here comes C.D. Bennett. No. Has him up. No. Oh. And now, <laughs> Constantine with those successive strikes to the head of C.D. Bennett. He's feeling that. Oh, but Bennett going again and, and again, getting those successive strikes from the champion. Just beating on his head. I love it. And now Constantine still on that set. Oh, now he's going up top. Oh! Nice kick by Ozzy. And now Bennett. Is out. Bennett has him up in the electric chair position. Ozzy up top. This does not look good for a chip. Oh! Nice! Nice corkscrew there by Ozzy. This is anyone's Again, pin. And now Ozzy crawling over. He covers the champion. But no, C.D. Bennett blocks it. Now he's got to cover. They're fighting and here comes over Ozzy. It. They're fighting over it. This is where Corey's going to make it happen. These two want the belt so bad. Corey's already got it. He knows. He knows he just needs to get a little fresh air right now. Well, and that's the thing. Yeah, both men, you know, that's what they say. Now he has become champion. Both men want to be the seventh. RWA champion. Back and forth we go. Ozzy, CD Bennett. Oh, oh, big chop. That hurts my chest, and too. And Ozzy right back at him. Ah, oh, but Bennett now. Oh, but here comes Ozzy. Bennett on the ropes. Clothesline by Bennett. And another one. CD Bennett with the with the ad. With the advantage. This guy oh, has big got spine energy. And now, oh, picks up. Oh, no. Constein for the cover. Oh, oh my God. Again, oh my God. so close, but so far away. And you see the frustration on C.D. Bennett's face. You know what?
this guy C.D. Bennett, I wasn't a fan of him when I first started, but I could see this guy. I could see this guy being part of the RWA Outlaws. You know what? This has now become, this has now become a scouting mission. Now, I like it. Meanwhile, C.D. Bennett, he's got Ozzy in his sights. We need our stable. Going up. Oh, Ozzy catching the knee. Oh! Nice insecurity by Ozzy. Now Ozzy off the ropes. It's oh. up. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Bennett catches it. Alabama slammed by Bennett. Meanwhile, here comes Corey Constantine. Picks him up. Oh, my God. Powerbomb by Constantine. Oh, but here comes oh. Bennett's fly by Ozzy. And all again, three all three men on the mat. All of them down. That was quite a series of moves right there, Stu. That was I a hell of an offensive series. You're absolutely I, right. I'm for Clecht. I'm going to take a moment. <laughs> yeah, I think you should. That was, I, need, I might need to take a breath there. Meanwhile, all three men are down. What's the count at? And you look at, well, I don't think. I guess they're kind of moving, Mark, aren't they? You know, I think she wants to see a winner in this one, so she's probably being lax with the count. I don't blame her one bit. And now all, all three men. Three in the center oh. of the squared circle. And here we go. Trading blows. Absolutely. This is what a triple threat is all about right here. All three of them, smack after smack. They, they just hit each other. On All three men on their knees. And now Constantine up. Bennett and Ozzy are up, and they are still trading blows. Oh, Constantine blocking the Bennett from from uh, chop from Bennett. Oh, oh, double drop kick by Ozzy and Bennett. I will send Constantine down. That was a super duper kick. And here comes Bennett. Oh, Whoa. up and over with the boot, and now Ozzy. What's Ozzy got in store? Has him up. Oh. Bennett fighting out of it. Gets that, free. Duck through. Oh, my God. oh, nice belly to back by Bennett. Look and at now this Bennett, guy. he know he's got it in his sights. He's got Ozzy in his sights. He's got the title in his sights. He's got outlaw potential. I know he does. Oh, but meets the foot of Ozzy in the corner. Ooh. And again, Ozzy, both feet up. Here comes Ozzy. Oh. Misses. Throw him out of the way. Oh no. Ozzy catches him. Has Ow. him up. Styles Clash. Oh. Hits it. This is over. Rolls him over. And Corey Constantine. Are you kidding me? Stopping the count. Are you kidding me? Ozzy had the match won, but Constantine able to stop the count. Look at the look on Corey's face. He's just laughing. Look, he doesn't care. Meanwhile, Ozzy, just angry, just starts wailing on the champion. Ozzy knows he had that title in his hands. That was everything Ozzy's been working for. Oh, oh blow, blow. <laughs> it is a three-way, so no DQ. Let me tell you something. I think he might have lost something there. And it, you hear the crowd. Calling Corey Constantine a cheater. Oh. Meanwhile, oh, here comes C.D. Bennett. All Tries to pick up Constantine. Oh. But Constantine trying to fight out of it. Has him up. I don't know if he was trying for a short arm clothesline, but oh, Bennett has you know, had Constantine up. Now double arm hook. Oh! Plants Bennett. Hold on, what is Ozzy doing? You see Constantine trying to roll him over. Ozzy's on the top Going for the count. Meanwhile, Ozzy! One son! Holy hell! My and God! And again, all three men down on the mat. He has no disregard for what he is doing to his own body. He wants this bounce. Ozzy with the cover. That, oh, my. That was... So I thought close. that was three. It was so close. So close. That was 2.9. But Corey Constantine, the very last second, able to get his shoulder up. 
Ozzy, Ozzy is beside himself. He's got to stay focused. He's got to stay focused on his strategy. And now Corey Constantine and Ozzy trading blows. Corey's Back got the experience in this match right now. He has been here before. And Ozzie I'm telling you right now. Constantine missing with the kick. Oh, nice boot. Oh, oh catches him with the kick. With there the Pele kick. And now Ozzy off the rope. Oh. oh, trying for a cutter. But no. Oh. Constantine planting Ozzy on the mat. The amount of reversals in this match has been insane, Stu. And then, oh, and then, there goes Bennett with that knee. Rolls him over. Here's the cover. And three. Oh my God. Here is your he winner and new RWA champion, C.D. Bennett. C.D. Bennett is our seventh. RWA champion, he came out of nowhere. He stole this match right there at the end, Stu. He, he made, his, made his presence known at the right moment. What a hard fought match, but in the end, C.D. Bennett from the 10th RWA class can now call himself RWA champion. Corey was playing possum most of the match. He took a page right out of his book. C.D. Bennett, I'm telling you right now, I need to have a talk with that man. You stay I away from him. I need to have a talk with that man right there. He needs a manager. No, he does not. Congratulations to C.D. Bennett, the new Road Wrestling Academy champion. guys, just give me a minute. So you're in the main event later this evening. And um, as I hear it, there's some newcomers coming in, the Texas Outlaws, and you guys are the RWA Outlaws. What's going on here? First of all, nice to see you too, Kristen. Long time no see, right? And but then you bring up the Outlaws. Yeah, thanks for the disrespect. Appreciate it. Goodness Love you too. Gracious. Yeah. yeah. We're finally in the main event again as a tag team, as right? Should be. Right? And, and you wouldn't bring up the Outlaws. You see this man right here, Dusty? You see that man? Great man in this industry. We have the outlaw name in respect of that man. Now you want to bring up these two new newcomers calling themselves the outlaws? Hey, don't be confused. They did not earn that name. We were given that name by our coach, the guy that's letting us represent his school out and about. We are the most dangerous tag team in all of independent wrestling, and tonight you're going to see that. Best of luck to you guys. Thanks. We won't need it. The following contest is a mixed tag team match. Making their way to the ring, being accompanied by their manager, Huey Necros, it's Clay Temple, and Chaka Man Chaka. As we get ready for this mixed tag team match, we see Chaka Man Chaka and Slay Temple, and their manager, Huey Necros, all from the 10th RWA class. Someone needs to manage this guy's wardrobe. Someone <laughs> needs to manage this guy's beard. He needs a razor. He looks like garbage. He's got a lot of stuff going on with his outfit. That's for damn sure. God. We get ready for their opponents coming to the ring. And their opponents making themselves to the ring. Kaylee Lynn. Alex Wild. Alex Wild, Kaylee Lynn, also part of this 10th RWA class. And Alex Wild, is he barefoot? Look at it that. looks like it. Look at that, bro. This guy. Shout out to 
Kevin Von Erich, the legendary barefoot warrior. As we get set for this match, it is a mixed tag, but it is under regular tag team rules. So, so we're so seeing we are man versus man, woman versus woman, woman versus man in this. I'm not liking it. Not to mention, you talk about an age differential. Slade and Shaka, Slade Temple, 19 years old. Shaka and Shaka, 53 years old. I will tell you one thing. I'm excited to see her in the ring. She is a bodybuilder. Yep. IFBB pro champion. Pro bodybuilder. Slade also is trained in Jiu Jitsu. Meanwhile, Kaylee Lynn. Grew up watching wrestling. She's got a kind kickback, uh, kickboxing background. Yeah, she does. She did train in kickboxing. As, and now here comes Alex Wild. Here we go. Man versus woman. Oh! <laughs> and just a smack to the to the backside of Alex Wild. Let's call it what it was. That was an ass smack. And Shaka with a cover. Only a two count. Oh, the big knee there. Now you got to figure the power advantage is going to be on heavily on the side of Shockman Shock. I was talking to her before the match, and you know, she said, "Woo! She loves beating men. <laughs> I love it. Beat what? that man's ass." Why does that not surprise me? Nevertheless, and now tag made. Here comes Slade Temple. This guy's a mercenary. This guy doesn't care. Now, from what I understand, Huey brought this guy in for this match. Shock attack back in. And, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm saying it right now. Slade seems like a winner in the future. 19 years old. We'll see. We'll Oklahoma. see. Oklahoma. Slade Temple back in the ring. And they have been, I mean, you talk about some sound tag team strategy, keep in their corner. He nice may be tiny, there. but he has got some muscle. Nice suplex by Slade Temple now. As Alex Wild, and now tosses it to the outside. Throw that surfer dude out. Santa Cruz is finest, apparently. Meanwhile, Slade Temple. Oh, big oh. Cl and clothesline by Necro. And look at the manager putting the boots to Alex Wild. I love it when managers get in on the action. I of, love it. Of course you do. Meanwhile, Slade Temple now going after Alex Wild on the outside. He just made this thing off like he was nothing. I'd be afraid if I was him. Ooh. Right against the back. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh a big chop. <laughs> big chop by Temple. And now. They heard that from here to Tulsa, baby. Hooks the leg. Oh, but too close to the ropes. Good job by our referee, Misty Marks. And so, play Temple. Holds him away, but only gets a one count. Alex Wilde needs to get a tag right this second. I don't care. He definitely does. You're absolutely right. The Slade Temple inflicting more punishment. He definitely needs a point break, if you know what I mean. That, but, and you can tell the rookie in Slade Temple taking way too much time showboating to Alex Wild's partner, Kaylee Lynn. Off the ropes. Oh! Double clothesline. My God. Now both men on the mat. See Mr. Mark check on him. Get this tag. Right when we get this tag, we're finally gonna see what I wanted to see. Woman versus woman. That looks like you might get that. It's Kaylee Lynn man. was saying that she is the same size as Shaka Menchaka. We shall see both men. Here comes Shaka Menchaka. Here comes Kaylee Lynn. And now, Kaylee Lynn ducks under. Nice move by Kaylee Lynn off the road. Oh, big shoulder block. And another, you would expect her to get that kind of impact with someone the size of Menchaka. She's got some pep in her step. 
Good job. Kick to the midsection. Now, Haley Lynn. Oh, DDT! DDT on the mat. Going for the cover. Oh, but not even, not even chance to get a count before. Shock him and shock is next. Must be that of maybe hits. I mean, look at him. Def Giant. Definitely got a strong neck, as you might imagine. In the ropes. Ooh, some body shots right there. And now, reversal. Mid shock in the ropes. Drop spine buster by Keely Lynn. Here comes Slade Temple to break up the count. He's a mercenary, he doesn't care. Meanwhile, Alex Wilde in the ring. Oh, oh! Takes out Slade Temple. And now. And now Menchaka has Kaylee Lynn in the ropes. There it is. With the knees. There it is. And the strikes. She's putting the power on now. Oh, Kaylee Lynn able to get the tag. Here comes Alex Wilde. Oh! Oh, and gets met with a kick. My from God, Menchaka. that kick right to the solar plex. <laughs> and then a clothesline, almost a short arm clothesline by Menchaka. See, she was just waiting for a man to get in. She just likes to beat on men. <laughs> I love that. And now, as Alex Wild by the hair. Has him up against the rope. Big chops there. She's Looks like she's waiting. Yeah, she's calling Slade Temple in. Slade drops down. Alex Wild. Oh, she's biting up. She's biting up. I get is is that a bite or a kiss? Kiss him? I don't know. It distracted him enough, though. Oh, my God. And we got to win. And here are your winners. Clay Temple and Chaka Menchaka. That was called I've, the straight shot. <laughs> some, uh, some interesting strategy, nevertheless. Clay Temple, Chaka Menchaka with the win. That, if that was a kiss, that was the most aggressive kiss I've ever seen. I thought she was biting him. I thought she was too. I'll be honest, I was with you, but nevertheless, Shaka and Shaka and Slave Temple, you're a victor. Drea, tonight the RWA Women's Championship is on the line. How are you feeling? Kristen, how am I feeling? I'm ready. See, I stay ready. That is a prime example why I am the RWA Women's Champion. <clears throat> I can't sing. <laughs> what? You don't like the awkwardness? No? What are you doing here? Can I help you? I was just trying to tell you how awkward it's going to be when you lose that belt. <laughs> oh, sweetheart. See, I totally understand that you've made it to the front of the line. See, there is a line. We get it. You made it to the front. Yippee. But um, this title isn't leaving my hand. See, I've worked way too hard to have someone like you try to take it away from me. See, you are just a stepping stone to my success to prove to everyone why I am the best woman here at RWA. Okay, we get it. Uh, <sighs> look, I, I'm just here to say one thing. I'm gonna be the next champion, okay? I'm gonna be the one wearing that belt. I am the Immaculate Iris. And I can't wait Best of luck to you. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, it's Kimberlina. Kimberlina, one of the current RWA students getting ready to graduate from this 10th class. 19 year old rookie from right here in the beautiful ATX. I'm not 
gonna lie, Stu. I like the look of her. My goodness. Delcourt might have a little bit more. <laughs> and here's her opponent, the Hellion, Menar Mageddon. Menar Mageddon, a graduate of the third RWA class, has been a part of the support system here at the World Wrestling Academy, but now getting in the ring as she faces Kimberlina in this showdown. I'm gonna tell you one thing, Stu. I love Menar Mageddon. I was there for her first independent match. Go, singles action. Stu, I love Menar Mageddon. She's a good friend of mine after we had our bout in Camp 7. We've been training. We've been going through the thick of it. I was there for the first independent match over at Slam Portal. And she won that match. She's got the experience now under her belt. I'm excited to see what's going on here tonight. She is definitely the more experienced. Kimberlina, 19-year-old rookie from right here in Austin. Armageddon, Armageddon stuck on the clothesline. Nice stop. And now sends Kimberlina in the ropes. Again, duck under clothesline. And now Kimberlina with a backslide. Oh. It would be wise of Kimberlina to get through this quickly because of Menar's experience. But nice. Oh, man. Nice innovative offense by Kimberlina. She has the momentum up. They both go for a drop kick. That didn't work out for either lady. It did not. Caught nothing but air. And you see both women trying to Look at Trying to get, get back to the base. And now, collar elbow, tie up. Menar Mageddon, nice takeover. With that headlock. Squeeze her head. Squeeze her head. <laughs> see that? Oh, Kimberlina rolling her over. Squeeze it. Gets a two count. Menar Mageddon, this is a, kind of a different side that we're seeing from her. I'm liking it. After the, after having been a part of the RWA for quite a long time. Nice head suit by Kimberlina. Menarmageddon kicking out. Misses with the close line now. Kimberlina stacks her up. Again, just a two count. She's going after those quick pins. Getting a little taste of her own medicine right here. Yeah, Menarmageddon with a two count on her own. As they say, they don't get paid by the hour. And Armageddon missed with the clothesline. Oh, ooh, double cross body, and they just collide there in the center of the ring. See Mr. Marks taking on the competitors. So Kimberlina, and I'm just taking from her own words, in her promo, called Menarmageddon a B-I-T-C-H, a bitch. Well, you know, they... Tempers go up sometimes in front of the microphone. She is sassy. She doesn't have any class. Both She's women, entitled. Both women back to their feet. A woman after my own heart, Stu. See, Kimberlina. He kept offering her hand in the middle of the match. This kind of unorthodox, but I wouldn't believe this. Martin Armageddon, shake her hand, and then big chop there. <laughs> By the more experienced oh. Armageddon. Oh, but reversal now. Oh. And now they just train blows back and forth. I love woman on woman pain. Kick. Oh. Armageddon with the cover. Again, just a two count. I like to think that these women are fighting after me, Stu. That's what I would like to think. Uh, I'll let you think that. Uh, when Armageddon with the headlock. Oh, Ooh. look at her. Using the hair to keep control. You see Kimberlina trying to fight out of it. But Menarmageddon has that headlock cinched in. Finally, Kimberlina getting out of it. And now it has a headlock 
of her own up in Armageddon. Ooh, these are body shots that I love. Kimberlina Rhodes, ducks under. Nice shoulder tackle there by Kimberlina. She's definitely got this crowd on this dude. Definitely does, you're absolutely right. Ooh. Oh, and then Menara again. <laughs> Knowing where she is in the Back ring. Backdoor old tricks. Backdoor old tricks, I love it. Ooh. And now, both Ooh. women fighting outside the ring. Menarmageddon so far getting the best of her. Oh. oh, and then a DDT right there on the floor. Menard does not care. That's why she is now Menarmageddon. Misty March count up to six. As Menarmageddon sends, sends Kimberlina back in the ring. She goes after a Oh, she's kicked out. Just, just a one count by Kimberlina. Yeah. Again and again, just a one count. This is really gonna piss Menarmageddon off. And I like it when she gets pissed. Because yep. when she gets pissed, she brings the heat, baby. Come on! Menarmageddon. <laughs> By a forearm across the chest of Knock the ever loving crap out of her. And another forearm. Menarmageddon with the advantage right now. I love women hitting other women. Going in the corner. <laughs> Modified uppercut there by Menarmageddon. Oh, Snap mare. Oh, no. Menarmageddon, a little, little more aggressive Going after though. That back. Yeah, you see her, you see her that knee. Square in the back of Kimberlina. Doling out the punishment. And now, almost like a sleeper hole by Menarmageddon. Carolina's up on her feet, trying to fight out of it. Ooh. Oh, but Menarmageddon pulls her down. That experience throwing her around like a rag doll. I love it. I don't think this rookie's going to last much longer here. We shall see. Menarmageddon brings her up to the corner. I like what she got. I like. Oh, oh, oh. And now. Choker to death! Has, has Choker. her foot right on the throat of Kimberlina. Misty, you let her choke her more! That's what I like to see! It's against the rules. <laughs> That's what I came here to see! And now an Armageddon. Oh, cannonball! Into the corner, into Kimberlina, and now an Armageddon move her to the center of the ring. Oh, legs! Get oh, but. That little sassy brat staying in this, I can't get over it. Like, it's definitely, uh, definitely needs a little management, though. And now, small package. Oh, but again, Kimberlina managing only a two count. Ooh. Kick by Menard. Big kick by Kimberlina. <laughs> kick by both women sends both women to the back. And once again, Kimberlina Ooh. is screaming. Who's going to make it up to the feet first? Will it be the more experienced Menarmageddon? Will it be the rookie Kimberlina? Three. Come on, Menarmageddon. Get up and whoop her ass. Oh. <laughs> Freeze count up to five. You gotta see. Again, women still on the mat. Counts up to seven, when Armageddon. She's up. She's up on her feet. And now here comes Kimberlina. She's out. When Armageddon picks oh. her up. Oh no, oh. reversal. Menard stops her and stops her tracks. Oh, oh but it gets met by a clothesline oh. and again. And Kimberlina all of a sudden, with the advantage, sends Menard in the corner. Oh. And she hit hard on that top Go. Turn Kimberlina up on that second turnbuckle once she got it to the door. I love the way. Going up. Oh. Big cross body by Kimberlina. Oh. I would have gone for the cover there. Oh, but Kimberlina with a drop kick. Comes over, hooks the leg. No. And just a two count. 
More like two and a half. Menarmageddon is not done. She does not quit. That's not in her vocabulary. Yeah, She's Kim here. And Kimberlina can't quit either. Oh, Menarmageddon rake of the eyes there. Sends Kimberlina in the corner. Ooh. And then just clobbers the back of her head. Oh. And a stomp by Menarmageddon. Curb stomp, Goes baby. over, hooks the leg, and gets the three. Here is your winner, Menar Mageddon. I love that curb stomp. I love that her pretty little face got smushed in the mats. Kimberlina had all, all fire, had a great match, but in the end, Menar Mageddon with her experience. Yes. Picks up the W. Yes. And yes. I, and I think we might might have seen a new side Mother. of Menar Mageddon. Menar Mageddon is making a name for herself on the independent scene, and now she probably wants a little bit of RWA go. Championship belt. You see this face? Get used to it. Around here, new there, new era, different era. I'm a different guy holding this belt. Hey, this ain't nothing like you guys have ever seen before. C.D. Bennett. I'm just different. The following contest is set for one fall. It is for the RWA Women's Championship. Making her way to the ring is the Immaculate Iris. The Immaculate Iris, a graduate of the seventh RWA class. That's right. As you has come back, and she has a shot to become the RWA Women's Champion. In that first match, she took on I. Rock. And if you remember, she slapped the ever loving crap out of me. She certainly did. And as I said, she gets a title shot, but she has to face the champion. Making her way to the ring, it is the reigning RWA Women's Champion, the Spitfire, Drea. Drea, the current RWA Women's Champion has since been very active on the independent scene, especially here in the Lone Star State. That's right, Camp 7's Pride champion, RWA Women's Champion. She finally became the bride of RWA. And she's not looking to lose it tonight. Drea, the fourth woman to hold that prestigious title. See if she retains it. As you see, Misty Marks showing that belt to the challenger, then to the champion, and now she will display it for all to see. I'm kind of torn in this match. I've got a little, lot of respect for both women. I have been in training with Iris for the last year, over the last year. We've been training every day. out my podcast sports guys talking wrestling weekly great wrestling insight from great wrestling insiders this week we will talk about the build to wrestlemania as well as okada mercedes monet and all that happened at aew big business sports guys talking wrestling wherever you get your podcast you know what Stu? i used to love your podcast and now I don't listen to you. Uh, uh, contact my I'll have 
my manager contact your manager. Yeah, they'll, they'll be one. Like I said, Stu, I'm a little torn over this. Both of these Camp 7 graduates as myself. I've been training with Iris every day for the past year. Drea, she makes it when she can because she's all over the state of Texas. She really is. Drea, of course, defeated Genesis at our last student showcase to win that title. Ooh. Meanwhile, Iris making her name on the independent scene. And now it feels like she could be the next RWA Women's Champion. That's right. That's right, you are. But you're also facing Iris. The oh impeccable gosh. one. She's got to be careful. The irresistible one. And she's got to be careful turning her back on her opponent. Ooh. Nice takeover there by the Immaculate Iris. And out. Oh, oh. oh my God. Ooh. And then a drop kick to boot. Rolls over. Oh, she's going for the cover. And she gets a two count. I'm going to tell you this much, Stu. During Camp 7, there was no love loss between the ladies. And I know that this is going to be a hard fought match. Oh, yeah. I think we're going to see some stiff shots here. Saw a stiff shot right there, that knee to the midsection now. Ooh. Oh, sends Iris into the turnbuckle multiple times. Let her eat times. that turnbuckle. As I said, both women have been, have been active on the independent scene. Trey is still feeling the I know. effects of that, that big boot she got. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> big double drop kick right in the corner. Pulls her out, hits the leg. And two and a half. That was close. Jay was about half a count away from retaining. Beating her on the back. You can hear those shots from here, Stu. Ooh. I know Dre has been competing a lot in San Antonio, including at Mission Pro Wrestling, the Thunder Roses promotion, all women promotion there in San Antonio. And now, oh, look at Dre. Yes! Jumping to death! Right on the ropes. <laughs> Stu, we have been blessed with back to back woman on woman action. I'm getting hot under the collar. I love it. I love it when women fight. <laughs> You could see a doctor about that. Meanwhile, Drea hooking the leg. And again, just a two count. And so now Drea just wailing away at Iris. This crowd has no respect. Bunch of gutter trash. Actually, something in, in I've been noticing this. Drea, every move. She takes time to show both. I think that could be a mistake. That could cost her. Could we'll be. have to wait and see. It could be, but it's the true look of a heel. Which I love. She, she sends Iris out inside the ring. Oh, shut up! This, shut crowd, up. this up. crowd letting Drea know how they feel. Y'all shut your mouths! You don't know what a true woman's champion looks like if you can't respect her! Bitches. Misty Mark up to three count. And I think Dre would be just fine taking the count out victory to retain her title. Why not? Why not? If it's coming to you that good, take it. Ooh. Iris good. back in at seven. And Drea right on top of her. She's taking a lot Fist. of damage to that back. Back and forth. And now that full mount. Drea just wail on her like I just inflicting punishment. This is a good old fashioned cat fight, and I'm loving it. Scratcher! <laughs> and now Drea has Iris in the corner. Choking to death! Using that foot up against the throat. A la Shinsuke, Shinsuke Nakamura. You see Iris trying to fight out. And those blows to the midsection. Oh, then a roundhouse right. Oh, but Dre comes back with that big kick. Here we go. Here we go. Now, oh, ooh, snap suplex by Drea. Oh, 
Quick combustion. And now, this is leg. Looks both legs. But again, only a two count. Irish still in this match for the RWA Women's Championship. Dumps around the ring again. Irish once again finds herself outside the ring. As much as I like Iris as a person, does she belong in the same ring as the RWA Women's Champion? So far. Yes! Drea yes! rolling the ring. Talk to those crybabies, Drea. Referee, Talk to them. Referee count up to five. Again, as I said, Drea will happily take a count out victory. But no, Iris back in at the count of eight. She better watch out. She's back in the ring. Andrea looked almost upset that Iris is coming back for more. That is the one thing I know about Iris. Over the past year in training with her, she does not give up. She has heart. She has spirit. She has courage. But does she have it in her to beat Drea tonight? We'll see. Blocking Drea. Nope. Iris in the ropes. Oh, a huge slam there. Hooks the leg, stacks her up. But again, Iris kicking out at two. Not giving up the amount of and punishment now, she's taken. And now Drea has to go back to the drawing board. Ooh, a high face by Iris. Maybe that's what it takes. Maybe she's just got to get pissed off. Ooh, nice belly to back by Iris. German suplex. Rolls over. Hooks the leg. Can we have a new champion? No. no. Two and a two. half. Two and a half. The hand was on its way down to three. And now the Immaculate Iris fired up, but she's taking too much time. And now. Drea with a German suplex of her own. <laughs> They're still. And now. A lot of life left for both of these ladies. I know well, it. Well, so far, they're looking a little lifeless. I know they Dre do. Drea still feeling the effects of that flurry of offense by Iris. Iris, all that, all that punishment she took from the champion. Stu, I'm going to tell you this much. The Count anger, up six. The heat. The rivalry between Camp 7 and Camp 7 is now culminating in this match right here. Both women up. And now, just trading forearms back and forth. Drea hits, then Iris hits. Back and forth they go. Drea back up on her feet. So is Iris. Drea misses the clothesline. Oh! Nice drop kick by Iris. And again, successive drop kick by Iris has Drea reeling. And now Iris got to set offense. Drea off the ropes. Oh! Buster by Iris has her covered. Going for the victory. Could you be? No. Again. Kicking out the last moment to save her title. Iris, now she's got to go back to the drawing board. Drea is in danger mode right now. She had the lead, and she has let it slip through her fingers. Showboating. You're right, Iris, right now with the momentum. Momentum can be fickle, but right now Iris has it all. As they go to the corner. Iris inflicting punishment. One, two, three, Those punches onto the top of the head of the champion. Good. And now Iris sends Dread. Nope, reverse. Oh, good. Great timing by the champion. Catching Iris with that kick. And just slams her to the mat. Drea. Great timing by the RWA Women's Champion. Drea, Drea going. She's up on that second turnbuckle. Oh, she's going up. She's going high risk. And Iris up to meet her. And now 
Iris Gray are fighting on that corner. Both women on that second turnbuckle. This is high risk, high reward. What she got in store? Oh my God! Holy hell! What? Going for two, the hook. Uh, oh, oh, but no! What? 2.9. That awesome. was immaculate! That's Frankensteiner off the top rope. Almost won the title for Iris. But Drea, with a little bit left, able to at least keep the title, at least for the moment. That both was women. awesome. I agree with the crowd for once you can, this match. You can see both women just spent. They have it. Oh, nice. Iris holding on the ropes. Misses with the roundhouse. Roll over. Ooh. Kick by Drea. Schoolboy. Yes. And we got a new champion. And here is your winner and new RWA women's champion. The Immaculate Iris. Iris <laughs> has done it. She, Iris rolled out of the ring. And she, she's, she's the new she's champion. She's beside herself. She can't believe it. After a year of training, after doing everything, she was someone who has fought so hard for this. No one will ever understand unless they have been there the entire year with her. But I will tell you this much. She has done it. She has fought over and overcome the odds. continue with this 10th student showcase. That is a large individual Look at this called Lithos. This guy looks crazy. Look at that helmet. Calls himself the man of stone. Lithos gets me stone. Is what is that? Yeah. Alex Wilde. Yeah. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, oh, dear Lord. Alex Wilde just got knocked out by the man of stone. He just turned that pothead into stone. Shades of the former NWA World Champion, Ronnie Garvin, who was known as the Hands of Stone. Lithos, a 37-year-old rookie out of Indianapolis. Now he's got a purple belt in Jits. I'm telling you right now, this guy is massive. He kind of looks a little bit like Thanos to me. He, he does have that Thanos vibe to him. He's got that stone face. I like this music. And his opponent making himself to the ah! ring is Hamburger Dan. Ah! Hamburger ah! Dan. This guy looks hot and ready. 20 years old, also from the state of Indiana. Leave hey, a burger for Alex. <laughs> he's going to like that burger when he wakes up. I'm sure he will. He smells a little ganji. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping he's that hurt. But look at this. Another great individual ah! in this 10th RWA class. Looks like he is ready to go. Hamburger see, Dan. Let's see if he can meet the challenge. Ready. Hamburger Dan ready looks like he's ready for the CC impact. I was joking ah! there, uh, earlier. One of the most legendary hamburger spots in Austin is Dan's hamburger. So, Gil, maybe he can go there after after his match. Ooh, oh, good guy. Of course, Lithos, Lithos with, the, with the power advantage. Is definitely a large man. They're both large men. They are, but Lithos, I think, has got a bit of the size advantage. As you see him just toss 
Dan off of him with some with relative ease. Lithos actually uh, he trains with Jimmy Hopps. Yeah, from the ninth class, absolutely. Absolutely. A little calls, test of strength right here. Calls himself the most violent attraction. Say, oh, oh. <laughs> Dan with a shot to the midsection, and now Lithos grapevine in that leg. I'm telling you right now, I don't know who I'm rooting for. Ooh, ooh, I love, I love cheating. I love cheating. I know you do. Ooh. Lithos using the ropes. How did you, break, you got to break? The, there you go. How Misty could Marks. you not love Hamburger Dan? Look at this guy. Well, right now, Hamburger Dan in a bad way. You can see him favoring that left leg. It doesn't matter. After being in the grapevine. This guy's going to be, this guy's going to be putting out a piping hot beat. I know it. I know it. Lithos, the shoulder blocks. Big belly to belly. Going for the cover. Ooh, Lithos is playing I think he picked, yeah, he picked Dan up after the count of two. Lithos. Seems like just play, almost like playing with his food. Ooh, he just turned him to stone. Just that, like Alex Wilde did. That big right. Couch and you heard, you heard Who's he it. Who's he talking to? He's not talking to me. Still has a little life left in him. You know, I'm going to tell you right now, Litho seems to have some anger problems. He reminds me of my dad. Oh, well, right now, Dan, oh, reversing the ropes. Ooh. Goes for that clothesline. Barely moved Lithos. That's <laughs> not working. It's, it's not working. I think he needs to try another strategy yeah. as Lithos just goozling Hamburger Dan. Yeah. This is definitely reminiscent of my childhood right now. Why does that not surprise me? Lithos, oh, finds a boot in the midsection. I mean, give all the credit, Hamburger Dan. Oh, he gives big, him a patty melt. Big splash in the corner. Gives him a patty melt. This might be the first time Lithos <laughs> is down on the mat. And now Hamburger Dan patty needs melt. to take advantage of it. What's going on here? Say a rope. Ooh. Almost like a modified Vader bomb. And here he goes again. A double stack, baby. A double stack. Uh -oh. Ow. He's but got the pickle nipples out. OK. okay. Yeah, and he's also got lithos. Look at those sour <laughs> sweeties. I can smell those sour sweeties from here. Those must have been fermenting for a bit. God. Well, Those pickle nipples this, smell. This could be the beginning of the end. Lithos with Hamburger Dan up in the torture rack position and almost like bench pressing oh, wow. and then dumps him on the mat. I'm telling you one thing, Lithos told me to be to leave him alone backstage. This guy does not like to be provoked anyway. You're at all. And Lithos in full control. Looks like oh. He's going for a throne of stone. This is his finishing maneuver. You see Hamburger Dan Hamburger try, trying, inching to the ropes. Oh, he's tapping. Oh. He's tapping. That's it. Get off of him. Come on, Lithos. And here Lithos. is your winner, Lithos. Lithos getting the tap out victory. Hamburger Dan. Gave it a good shot, had some good offense, but in the end, the power and strength of Lithos was just too much to handle for Hamburger Dan. Those nipples are sour now. Oh. You, are, you are fascinated with nipples. <laughs> I am. Lithos, your winner.
always say money is the root of all evil. But why is everyone chasing it? The movie Mike story is money. The screenplay is must see and it'll be shown tonight or the showcase. But thus the question, is my story evil? Well, it doesn't even matter. Because Long is on the big screen. Oh, America loves a happy ending. Oh, a beautiful tragedy. Close your eyes. This is going to be amazing. Michael B. Jordan has nothing on your filmmaker. I'm movie Mike. I'm the big picture. I'm the main attraction. I am the talk of the action. I'm the greatest thing that ever happened to the silver screen. Ain't that right? Yes, sir. Anything else? Uh, uh, what are you doing? Get out of my trailer! This is a billion, billion dollar production! Oh, you think this is funny? See you soon, sir. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna see you soon, all right? On the cut in room four. The following contest is set for one fall. Introducing first. It's Let's Mr. Go. Houston! Let's go. Mr. Houston, a 25-year-old rookie from Dallas. Look at that, confidence. He is a former. This guy is built and stacked. I'm excited for this match because this dude is very happy. That takes a lot of endurance. It does. It's you know, I like, tried out for a Reed football team. I did not make it. Why does that not surprise me? And making his way to the ring, it is Movie Mike. This is the kind of guy that I can get behind. Yeah, that, that, He's making why does that wait. not surprise me? He's making us wait. From Pandor Productions. 28 years old. Has been wrestling for about eight years. I like this guy. He wants a signature. He wants a signature. This hamburger. Uh, hamburger Dan, Dan trying to get an autograph. Get those sour nipples out of here, vinegar boy. Man. Signature. This is the best picture ever saw right here. He's going to be the carny guy that charges everybody for autographs you know he after is. he's washed up. You know what? He's probably going to deserve every single thing he gets. Oh, shut up. They don't this know Hollywood be, when they see it. This should be an interesting contest. Both guys out of this temp RWA class. Okay, I will say one thing. I was backstage before this match started. We were all chatting about, they Man. were putting on their gear. And let me tell you something. This is a large tally whacker match versus a large tally whacker match. They both have big PPs. I saw it. I saw um, it. I both saw it. men similarly built. Ladies, they're, they're saying. And Movie Mike apparently has some issue with our referee, Misty Marks. What's but the it issue? looks like finally. We need, we need some tissues here. Is he finally? Oh, my goodness. The disrespect. <laughs> oh, meanwhile, look at this. Meanwhile, Mr. Houston just kind of lounging there on that corner, on that top turnbuckle. He wants everything done for him, and I understand. I'm a man that wants things done for him as well. And if you can get someone to do it for free, why not? As we get set for this contest. He's not about this action. Mr. Houston, he wants to get going. Are you ready? Well, he's got a clapboard, okay. So Well, this is his production. And three, two, one, and action. Oh my goodness. Bell has sounded, so we are underway in this match. As I said, both men, similar height, similar build.
similar everything. Well, you know, it, with the with the with the exception, Movie Mike, definitely a more experienced wrestler. Yeah, you can tell he's got the and experience. He looks like he's about to do something. In a surprise to nobody, counts The Rock as an inspiration. I can see that. I can see it. With the bravado. But you know what, Mr. Houston, you cannot discount that professional amateur football experience. It is a well, in fact, Mr. Houston counts another former football player turned wrestler, none other than Goldberg. Of course, had great years with the Atlanta Falcons. Absolutely. After a stellar career at the University of Georgia. Moving Mike with he's that got, headlock. He's got the control. He knows exactly what to do. He's the director of this show. You see. Mr. Houston fighting out of it, but gets, gets Brush laid the out there. Brush the shoulder off. Brush the shoulder off. the ropes. Oh, nice leapfrog by Houston. Tries to take uh -oh. him over. Ooh. Another attempt on an arm back. There you go. Oh my God. Gets him over. Oh, a little Val look, Venus. A little bit, <laughs> yeah. Val, Rick Rude, Val Venus. Nice arm drag takeover by Mr. Houston. Now he seems to be in control of this match. I, I, you know what? I'm torn. I don't know who's going to win this match, but I'll tell you what. I'm going for Movie Mike. Obviously, I like the Hollywood vibe. I like the style he's got. The white, the gold, the black. Good on Mr. Houston. Keep in control. Look at the film rooms on his side. This is not Movie Mike's first training. He is training, of course, Ooh, in pro wrestling. <laughs> Needs to get, yeah, Oops, Misty Marks getting off the ropes. Nice oh. leapfrog, going for the cover, but just a one count. Oh, and now, oh, oh. looks like Mr. Houston trying for a crucifix. Oh. I got it over, but again, too just a one count. I don't mind it, but it's too much. Come on, Mike, you got to get in this. Another cover. You got a two count this time. Movie Mike also trained under the legendary George South. So as I said, he definitely has experience. Mr. Houston is not liking this. He is not liking the showboating. He is not liking the talking. Oh. But it's all part of the hey, game, baby. Savvy maneuver there by Movie Mike. Pulling him for that shoulder block and then sends him into that top third ball. Mr. Houston, he just came for a fight. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Movie oh, Mike. Oh, splash! Hit. Movie Mike hit nothing but vinyl with that attempted chop. Nice leg, Larry, by Mr. Houston. So Movie Mike, I think he, he wants to he wants to he wants to call a halt oh, to the production so far. Oh, now both men on the apron. Kicks. Oh, look at that. Oh, good oh! God. Plants oh! Mr. Houston right on the apron. He said he liked the rock. He had to give him a little bit of that rock bottom right there. And then just sends him down oh, he's asking to the floor. There's your close up, Mr. DeVille. <laughs> Rolls back in the ring. Or oh, excuse me, Mr. Rhodes. Meanwhile. <laughs> Our referee up to a five count. Houston, trying to get back in the he ring. He doesn't mind if this is a count. It doesn't look like it's going to happen, though. Maybe right. Oh, but he sizes him up. Oh, vicious elbow to the back of the neck there. A close up. Pulls him over. Hooks the leg. And oh! Two and a half. Mr. Houston still in this match. Mr. Houston has definitely got what it takes to go in a long match. I tell you what. Look at him. The athleticism. The cardio this guy's got. Oh, just being choked out by that lower leg of movie Mike. Oh! More punishment. Movie Mike going for the cover. And 
That Not was close. again. Misty, you're supposed to cut it at three. That was three. And was on its way down. Mercy Houston still has life left in it. And now, movie Mike inflicting punishment. Need to get him off the ropes. He is a director, he is a producer, he is an actor in his own life. And I love it. Probably in his own mind, too. Nevertheless, you see Mercy Houston writhing in pain. Meanwhile, movie Mike. He's taking it all. Showing off his physique. Back and forth. Right Ooh, oh. hear those bodies. And now, there's Houston. Oh, but they get stopped by that knee to the midsection. And now it looks like Movie Mike trying for an abdominal stretch. Let me tell you something. That doesn't feel good on the ribs. You know, hit. Trying, he's trying to pull that arm back. He I broke got it. My ribs. Let me tell you something. It doesn't feel good when you get wrenched like this. Stretching out those abdom that, that abdominal region. <laughs> the elbow to the midsection. Mr. Houston trying to fight out of it. Gets out of it. Nice arm drag takeover. But you can tell Mr. Houston is a little worse for wear. Off the ropes. Ducks under. Oh! Good Lord, Mr. Houston going for the crossbody. Hey. Catching nothing but air and hey. momentum carrying him to outside of the ring. A little foreshadowing right here. I'm loving it. This guy's putting together a production. Get in there! And now, and I think you're right, Movie Mike would be satisfied with a count out victory. I think he might get it. Mr. Houston has taken count. the brunt of this match. Counts up to five. His cardio has got to be last. Mr. Houston trying to get back, get back up in the ring. This crowd is not giving Movie Mike any respect. Mr. March count up to eight. Can he make it? Nine. Up to nine. He's got to make it in. Oh, just he's in. He's in. She was about to call the call it, but. Mr. Houston able to get back in the ring. Does he have anything left? He's trying to get the crowd behind him. Well, he's got the crowd behind him right now, but unfortunately, he's also got Movie Mike behind him. Picks him up. Oh! Look how he's trying for a neck breaker, but Mr. Houston able to get get loose. Now, can he can he capitalize on it? Picks him up. Oh! But <laughs> just falls over. Movie Mike with the cover. Oh my gosh, come Down on. Down to two again. That was three, Misty. It was two. You know what? I think she's got a little disrespect for Movie Mike because Movie Mike made his, made her tape, made his jacket off. I'm telling you, you right and now. your theories. Nevertheless, Mr. Houston. No theories here. Writhing in pain. Movie Mike. Big blow to the lower back, and that's, oh, that hurts. This lower back is in so much pain. Look at his face. Yeah, he, he is definitely struggling right now. Movie Mike fully in control. Gotta give him respect. This is uh, this is his first match ever. Mr. Houston. He has been doing, he has been doing a great job as a rookie. Mike, you do not touch his face. You do not touch Talon's face. Ooh. Nice roll through. That turnbuckle just oh, touched it. Boot to the midsection. And now Mercy Houston. Oh, but oh, he can't do it. He doesn't have enough yeah. strength. That back his, has been taken. Yeah, his, his back. Oh, my God. His back just won't, won't let him make that maneuver. Looked like he was going to try for a suplex. Let me tell you something. There's one of my boys in there. They definitely carry the load. They've been through this kind of thing. And we will see your boys in the main event. Oh, just up and over. More punishment to the back yes. of Mr. Houston. Yes, movie Mike. Rosen hooks the leg. That's two. Oh, oh but no. God. And again, Mr. Houston still able to kick out. We have seen so many near falls in this match. 
Eastern Houston. I don't think they can handle another one. And that's the thing. It's it's mostly been Movie Mike with the near falls. Double axe handle there. Onto the back already damaged. And now Mr. He or Movie Mike rather. Nice snap. nice snap suplex by Mr. Houston. He used every bit of what he's got left to get that out. Just a one count. Yeah, just went, went, <laughs> rolled over, just draped his arm for a one count. But now both men on the mat. Who's going to recover first? Houston looks done. Look at him. He is breathing. Look at that. Oh, my God. Well, Movie Mike's not doing much better, so who knows? Movie Mike's just dramatic. I know. Referee count up to five. Can they make it back to their feet? Looks like Movie Mike is starting up. to get vertical. Here we go. Finish it, Movie Mike. Mike's back up. Oh, but Holy Mr. Hell. Houston kipping up. Whoa. Holy oh, big hell. right hand. Oh and another. God. Oh, but he missed it with that one. And gets a forearm in the back for he his wound effort. Up too much for that last one. Oh, oh missed God. it. Houston hard into the corner. His back has got to be destroyed. You see, Misty Marks. Checking on him. Hey, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Oh, focus. See, I'm telling you. Missed it. They got a little tension there. I see because I think because he, he thinks the referee's getting in his way. He is the greatest D-lister actor in that ring. Hush your mouth. Big uppercut by Movie Mike. He, want, he wants some accolade, but he's getting nothing but booze from the crowd. Mr. Houston trying to fight out of that corner. Nice. Oh, big clothesline. And now Mr. Houston catching another win. Reversal. Oh, big crossbody. Hooks the leg. Oh, but just got one count. Oh, my God. But he's got to stay on him. Mr. Houston can't let Movie Mike recover for a moment. Poised up. Cutter. Goes for the cutter. Went for the cutter, goes over. Hooks the leg. One, two. Oh, oh but no. <laughs> Movie Mike kicking out at the last moment. That may have been Mr. Houston's best chance. I Houston wants it. He wants it. He wants it. Oh my! Movie goodness. Mike just swinging nothing but air right now. He looks Meanwhile, Mr. It. Houston. Oh, just a paintbrush. Yeah, paintbrush the face of, Miss, of Movie Mike. Tried to get him up, and again, Movie Mike with that forearm to the back. And now it looks like Movie Mike has him up. What's he right got here. in store? Oh, but Mr. Houston escapes. Off the rope, ducks under. Once again, big blow by Mr. Houston. Hooks the leg and gets the victory. And here is your winner, Mr. Houston. You know, that's how you hit somebody when you're on special teams. That, you know went, I mean? that was a back and forth match, like you mentioned earlier, Ryan. Several near falls, but in the end, Mr. Houston with that devastating maneuver, get, picks up the W Are we here at our Kent Showcase. Are we gonna see a sequel? I would be, I would love to see another match in Kent too. I'll oh, check out Mr. Houston. He grabs the <laughs> clapboard. He says, cut it. Match done, match over. Sorry, Mike. Mr. Houston, you're a winner. I came to practice every day. 
365 days, man. That's what it, everything I have, everything physically, financially, mentally, I put it all in here. This, this is the reward for that, okay? It just shows that no matter who you are, no matter where you're from, if you put in hard work, dedication, you will get the payoff. This is the reward, man. Oh my God. Thank God. I'm so grateful. Yeah. <laughs> my, my belt, my belt. <laughs> Holy smokes, man. It's beautiful. It's my color and everything. Love it. Here is your main event for the evening. It is for the RWA Tag Team Championship. <laughs> Introducing first to the Sedima Romero Cruz and RTJ, the RWA Outlaws. It's our time. It's our time, baby. RWA Outlaws get some gold. First ever Road Wrestling Academy Tag Team Champion. As you see, the RWA Outlaws. Their manager, my broadcast partner, Ryan Belfort, in the ring with him. RTJ in the left, Romero El Rao Cruz in the right. They've been tagging for quite some time. And now they get a shot to hold those beautiful tag team belts. And their opponents. And making their way to the ring is their opponents, Wyatt and Wayne. The Texas Outlaws. Wyatt and Wayne, that's Wyatt there. And Wayne, the Texas Outlaws. From this 10th RWA class. They get a shot at those tag titles. Brothers. Original Texas Outlaws of Dusty Rhodes and Captain Redneck Dick Murdoch. Let's go back up to our ring announcer to find out more about this match. The main event of the evening is a 30 minute time limit, two out of three falls. The rules of the match are, after each fall, the contestants must get to their feet before the match continues. Are you ready? Yeah. And there you hear it. This match, best two out of three falls, 30 minute time limit. As Ryan Belfort rejoins Stu, on commentary. Did you see that? I did, you stuck your nose where it didn't belong. Oh, it belongs got out. here. Those are our titles. Misty These Marks. Fake outlaws. Misty Marks showing off those beautiful tag team belts that will go around the waist of one of these two tag teams. Wyatt putting his hands on me, one of these tag teams. You deserved it. Ah, no, I did not. No, I did not. And it, interesting that you're up here. I guess. I guess Romero Cruz and, uh, and RTJ figured out they don't need you after a while. Oh, that's not true. They can the do, ba they can do here, better without you there. The reason, oh, <laughs> is to let everybody know that the real outlaws, the RWA outlaws. Looks like it's going to be Wyatt to start out against RTJ. Misty tossed me out. She tossed me out, so that's R why I'm back. RWA Outlaws, no strength in gold. In fact, RTJ, the current Lucha League Southwest champion. Right Great that. promotion out of El Paso. Not only that. El so Rio, former branded outlaw wrestling cruiserweight champion. 
Great promotion in San Antonio. So as I said, no stranger to gold, although we'll, we'll see what they can do in the tag team ranks. Wayne and Wyatt and get the lock up between Wyatt and RTJ. These Texas Outlaws consider themselves upper class trailer trash. We're about to take it out to the dump. Wayne and Wyatt kind of giving a little bit of Von Eric vibe with brothers. Almost that like, that almost like, seeing? almost like back in the day, David and Kevin. All we need is one of them with barefoot. RTJ with that headlock. Branching on that headlock. As I mentioned, Wayne and White, part of this 10th Road Wrestling Academy class. Meanwhile, Ooh, El Rio, Matthews, <laughs> RTJ, <laughs> veterans. No. Nice takeover by Wyatt. Oh, Keeping, he thinks he's so big and strong. Keeping control. Oh, RTJ. Rolls him over for a two count. And again, and again a two count. But Wyatt still maintaining control now into the head scissors. Into the leg scissors there, RTJ. And Wyatt escapes. Wyatt was born on the same pool table he was conceived on, Stu. Total, total trailer trash. I still want to know. I can't believe he put his hands on me. I want to know what color the sky is in your world. Nevertheless, as they lock up, RTJ, oh, reversal. And now has White in the hammer lock. Oh, nice reversal by Wyatt. I'm not worried. I'm not concerned. Ooh. Looks like it hurts. Off the ropes, RTJ. Nice leap forward by Wyatt. Now off the ropes, a little, ooh, almost a little lucha there by Wyatt of yeah. the Texas Outlaws. Yeah, I'd say lucha, but it's more like Tex-Mex because that was a little sloppy. Oh, it, it just How a big slap. Dare him! That son of a bitch! Yes. We have, we have not seen. Oh, now we're gonna see Romero El Rio Cruz. Tagging in. Oh, and he, wa he wants Wayne. He wants Wyatt's brother. He wants to tag. So that's what he's going to get. Here comes Wayne. Don't turn your back to him. You don't, don't, don't turn your back. This, I was going to say. Don't turn your back to Trailer Trash. And, and gets no. Nice arm drag takeover by Wayne. There we go. Oh, but gets the boot in the midsection. They're right off the ropes. Woo. Wheelbarrow. Oh, my. And just plants him. Oh, my God. Nice for your offense. And gets a two count. You are not going to pin my guy anywhere near what's again, going on right now. Again, this is best two out of three falls. Tag. Wyatt back him, in. I didn't even see him getting one pick. Going up the top rope. Oh, oh my God. Punishing. Punishing that left arm of Cruz there. And now, quick tags. Sound tag team strategy. Keep them your half a ring. Quick tag in and out. Exactly what Trey Romero and Raya Cruz. Coming off the ropes. Oh, but tag blind tag. Nice there double drop kick by the Texas Outlaws, but can't count because our DJ tagged in. Five minutes gone. Five minutes has passed in this match. RTJ. Oh, look at that splash! Both of them. Successive <laughs> body splashes, and now starting to work on Wayne. El Rayo, Romero Cruz tagging in. There we go. Yeah, right in the kidney, baby. <laughs> oh, but now they're back back in the Texas Outlaws corner. Here comes Wyatt. And now Wyatt. No! Oh, picks him up here. Wayne off the ropes. Oh, nice leapfrog. Oh, 
inflicting so much punishment on the back. Hooks the leg, going for a cover. But again, just a two count. Oh, no! And Let's now. Ropes. Come on. Let's go! RTJ. Back. Oh, here goes RTJ. Interfering and Wayne going after RTJ. <laughs> now you got all four men in the ring. Unfair. Wyatt. Unfair. These Texas outlaws suck. Wyatt tagging in Wayne. And now again, all four men in the ring. Good corners. Oh, no. Body splashes by both. Let me tell you something. RTJ out of the ring. Let me tell you something. These guys burn their yard rather than mow it. That's how trashy they are. Nevertheless, oh, nice innovative offense by Romero Cruz. And now here comes RTJ, tries for the double clothesline. Oh! oh, back body flip. Oh my God. And now the Texas Outlaws ruling the ring at the moment. Stu, this is nothing. We're regrouping right here. Look at this. We are talking about it. We're regrouping. We got to look right on the right off the apron. No. Come on. Sure, you shouldn't be out there with your boys. Stu, but I guess they don't I was need banished. you. They I was banished, Stu. I don't think they need you anyway. But nevertheless, and now, oh, what's this? What's, what's Hick doing out here? He's got a kendo stick. Oh Ow. my God! He just whacked our two. You dirty son of a bitch! Get that son of a bitch out of here, Misty! Yeah. Where are you doing? Look at my guy! He just got hit with a kendo stick. This, oh my God, come on. Hit that coming out. That cheating son of a bitch. Hit coming out. A little bit of receipt from the last showcase. Yeah, well, you know what? When I'm going to give Hit a receipt. I'm going to shove my block up his ass. Next time I see Hit, oh man, he's going to get hit. Meanwhile, Cruz in that top turnbuckle. That dirty. Wayne working on him. Bitch. Sends him across the ring. Wayne, big body splash. Little do -si do action. Yeah, I don't even Has know him up. No. Oh, what's Wayne, what's Wyatt got in Oh my Cross God. Cross Why Wyatt pulls him to the corner. No. Oh, two, no. and three. No. Texas Outlaws get the first fall. No. You will the only reason that they even got a pin is because of that freaking kendo stick. Hit. Hit. I Hit promise face. with everything in my soul, I am going to make you pay for that, you son of a bitch. Hit the former RWA champion making his presence known. And now yeah, you heard the rule. Former, former oh, RWA champion. RWA. Meanwhile, RTJ pulling Wayne off the mat. Have won the first fall. And now, oh. Romero El Rao Cruz on Wyatt. We've got 10 minutes has passed in this match. Keep him in there, keep him in there. 10 minutes of this 30 minute time limit. You know, Wyatt told me that his lifelong dream was to own a fireworks stand. I have no idea what he's even doing here. That's that Ryan Cruz off the ropes. Right oh, drops the knee right on Wyatt's head. El Rio has got control. Going for the cover, but no. Count of two. And now, Romero Cruz, El Rio. Ooh. Wyatt trying to fight out Ooh. of it. Those body shots, but they. Gets kicked in the midsection. These pieces of trailer trash are now starting to see. Now, RTJ. RTJ's bleeding. Been, yeah, he's busted open a little bit. Hits. But he's back in. He made my guy bleed. Nice suplex. Hey, and now him. just, just Beat wailing him. on him. Watch those fists. Yeah, watch those fists hit his face. And now picks up Wyatt. Chuck him out! Chuck him to death! Ref <laughs> Referee's got to get him off. Gets him off the ropes. Like, is the damage done already? Oh my God, he has got to be hurting. Blood gushing everywhere. Ooh. 
Wyatt. Body shot, oh, but again, RTJ with that knee to the midsection. Now, Romero Cruz tagging in. That's a chop, baby boy. Ooh. Oh, gets thrown into a clothesline. El Rayo off the ro top rope. Nice maneuver there by Romero El Rayo Cruz. Pulls him to the center of the ring. Goes for the cover. Oh, but just a two count. That was a slow count. Slow count. That was a three count, Misty. It should be 1-1 one, one right now. It should be 1-1. One, one. But it isn't. Meanwhile, uh, Cruz <laughs> knocking Wayne off the apron. That's how you take care of trailer trash. You knock it around. Now turns his attention to Wyatt. RTJ tagging back in. Again, sound strategy. RTJ Ooh. off the ropes. Ooh. Oh! A little drive by it. Little baby. double team maneuver. Going for the pin. But again, only a two count. Misty oh. is getting on my nerves. These She's guys. always on your nerves. Oh, you're right about that. And kicking me out of the ranks, you shouldn't have done. Texas Outlaws up one fall. If they get another fall, they will be the tag team champions. But RTJ trying to prevent that from happening. Has that headlock and now transitioning. Wide up, trying to fight out. White needs a tag. But he's not going to get it. He's going to get a tag right there on the turnbuckle. RTJ keeping him in his corner. Romero Cruz back in. Let's go. This is it. And now it looks this like Romero Cruz it. calling for something. Has him up. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Super kick into a suplex. You don't now, see those types of moves every day. Romero Cruz hooks leg to even the match. Hey! And Wayne comes in to save his Get brother. Get Wayne out of the ring. He should be disqualified. Wayne saving his brother. Still one fall to none in favor of the Texas Outlaws. This crowd needs to shut their damn mouths. They're full of crap. RTJ tagging back in. Raggedy ass crowd. Just a shot to the midsection. Oh, here we go. I love Meanwhile. Oh! And he just took. Hey! He just took Cruz's mask off. You do that dark bag. Hey! And he. He's in a mask. Romero. Knocked, knocked down both competitors. Now, now's the opportunity. He's got to tag in his brother Wayne. Why? Romero has never had his mask taken off in RWA. This is the first time. That dirtbag son of a bitch! Wyatt, see, you're you gonna get yours! You see Wayne stretching out. Cruz tagged in, Wayne comes in, and here we go. Wayne with those lifts, and one to RTJ for good measure. Oh my God. Wayne off the ropes, nice takedown. Goes after Romero Cruz. No! Double bear kick there by Wayne. Now Wayne going to that second rope. Oh! Cross body. Ducks under. Oh! Lance RTJ. Oh Off the ropes. Wayne coming. Oh and a big God. elbow. Come on, Romero! Big oh elbow. No. And now turns his attention to Romero. No! Has him get him up. Yes! Oh, but <laughs> RTJ able to stop him. Wayne and Romero Cruz, the legal men in the ring. 15 minutes has passed in this match. 15 I'm you right minutes now, have it's gone Apple. by. And now Cruz tagging RTJ back in. And now RTJ inflicting more punishment on Wayne. Ooh! Across the back. Oh, that's wrenching the back. I'll tell you right now. Wayne can't get married to his high school sweetheart because it would be against the law. That is the kind of trail of trash that my boys are dealing with. RTJ in full control right now. 
Wayne needs a tag in a bad way. As RTJ picks him up. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, has him up. Looks like. Wrench is back. Oh, just inflicting more. Put him in the hospital. Come on. He's fake and now, outlaws. And look at that. Able to tag in Romero Cruz. That's where the experience comes into play. Ooh. Oh, then plants Wayne. Here comes Cruz. Nice roll over there by El Rio Romero Cruz. <laughs> <laughs> Knocks Wyatt off the apron. One, the leg. two, three. Oh, oh my God! No. no, Wayne, still a little bit of life left. Romero Cruz thought for sure he had that fall to even it up, but not yet. And now Wayne trying to fight out of it, but Romero Cruz stops him in his tracks. This is everything that we want, Stu. This is everything that we have worked for. The legacy, the prestige, the outlaws, RTJ the real outlaws, the RWA outlaws. We are about to take over this match with a splash. Come on, baby boys. Yes! Now, the RWA outlaws Ooh, successive uppercut, splashes. Uppercut, baby. On to Wayne. <laughs> RTJ off the ropes. Oh! Ooh. Vicious knee. Drive-by! And a drive-by by Romero Cruz. You gotta believe. RTJ with the cover. Two. Two. Oh, oh and no! God. And he kicks out again. Where is Wayne getting this? I do not understand what is happening right now. RTJ with a headlock, but Wayne with every bit of life he's got left in him. Keeping that 1-0 one, one -oh advantage in this match. Now RTJ, wrenching Wayne up. Has been at back. Oh, drops down. More punishment to that back. Goes for the cover, goes two. Oh my God! And now Wyatt saves his brother. Misty, get this match under control! Oh, and, and now Wyatt. Wyatt catches a chop from RTJ. That's going to leave a mark. And now RTJ pulling him back to his corner. Tags in Romero El Rio Cruz. Yeah. Keep working on that back, boys. Starts inflicting more punishment on the back of Texas Outlaw Wayne. Wayne trying to fight back. He wants that tag. He's not going to get but it. But Romero Cruz holding him back. And now reversal. And reversal again. Spear! Big spear by RTJ. Take it! Hooks the leg. One, two, three! And the yes! match is even. The of your second fall is the RWA Outlaws. We That's are now up. even. One fall apiece. And now. Wayne's got to make it back to his feet. This is it. Woo! Meanwhile, Romero Cruz knocking Wyatt off the apron. Sorry, again. Wyatt. You're not going to make it in to save your baby brother or your big brother. You see Misty Marks trying to keep Romero Cruz away. By 10 minutes left. No. And Wayne's back to his feet. Ooh, and here comes RTJ. Uppercut. RTJ with that vicious uppercut. Oh, eat that turnbuckle. The, the amount, Romero Cruz tagging in. The amount of teamwork that my guys are putting in. That's the experience. That's the beauty that you're seeing from this match. Big body slam by RTJ. These rookies don't know what they're dealing with. And now. Come on, shoulders down. And Stu, let me tell you something. This is not the first time that the outlaws Bruce Hood's have leg. Been in a tag titles match. In but fact, I have tasted gold with the outlaws. Bruce had a cover, but only a count of two. Match still going. Winner of the next fall wins the titles. Romero curves that front face lock. 
Now RTJ tagging back in. Wayne has been in that ring for a long time. He needs a tag in the worst way. But RTJ and Romero El Rao Cruz, the RWA Outlaws, preventing it from happening. And now RTJ talking a bit of trash. He's a real outlaw. He knows what he's talking about. That's not trash. Oh my Wayne, God. Wayne fighting back, but then gets stopped that clubber and forearm to the back. You know, the Outlaws, they think they've got a personalized plate because their daddy made it in prison. <laughs> uh, again, you really need to see some treatment. I Nevertheless, have seen treatment. Front face lock. It will work. Wayne, oh, but RTJ again knocking Wyatt off the apron. No! He's not there. Yeah, but yeah. He's RTJ, not there. Wayne, Wyatt's down on the mat. Wayne can't. Tag out. Hey, your, your invisible partner's not there. You see Wayne trying to help him out, trying to encourage him to get up. Meanwhile, RTJ, Woo! throw through. Oh, oh big spear God. by Wayne. Big spear by Wayne. And now both men are down. Now Wayne's got a chance to tag in. Wyatt's got a chance. Come on, RTJ, get up. Our referee starts the count. Can Wayne make it back to his corner? Get Can up, RTJ, RTJ make it back to his corner? You see he's RTJ grabbing the foot. Him. <laughs> he's pulling him. You're not going to get there, Wayne. Why is chomping at the bit to get back and get in this ring? Yeah. Romero no. Cruz tagging in. Here comes Wyatt. Here comes the Texas Outlaw Wyatt. Ducks under. Ooh. Super kick. Oh. Close line. And another clothesline. Clothesline to RTJ. And Wyatt, fresh as a daisy right now. Oh, oh a little tribute a there. Not a, and no. a boot to the midsection. Ooh. Oh, it drops down. Whoa. And that right. And Wyatt. Oh, nice no. power slam by Wyatt. Again. And one Romero Cruz. Wyatt, that dirt bag. He sends Archie J to the outside. And now focuses attention oh. on Cruz. Wyatt, he can taste those titles. Boot to the midsection. The one thing that Wyatt and Wayne are not tasting tonight is victory. Come on. A momentary stop there by Cruz. Come on, Romero. And now Cruz trying to inflict more punishment. As it oh, no! Canadian Destroyer on Cruz. No! He's on his feet out. Come on! Come on, Romero! And now, Wyatt, bionic elbow. Hooks the leg for the title. No! Oh, but a count two and a half. And this match is still alive. Oh the RWA my God. Outlaw is still alive. With one breath. And now Wyatt. Romero is still in this. Wyatt tags in his brother Wayne. Come on, RTJ. Get up. Get up. Wyatt has Cruz up. Well, they got planned. A little do -si do Oh, my God. Nice body splash. Here comes oh. Wayne. Big uppercut. Oh. Successive maneuvers. And now Wayne has him up. Beautiful oh maneuver. God. Hooks the leg for the titles. One, two, yes. and here comes RTJ yes. to break up the pinfall. Saving the day. RTJ, thank the God. We've got five minutes left in this match. Five minutes left. Wayne and RTJ going at it. Five minutes left in this match. Spine bustle, but here comes Cruz. Five Cruz. minutes left. Snapmare suplex there by Cruz. But Wyatt. No. Modified Bulldog by Wyatt. This is a brawl. Every man for himself right now. Look at this. Oh, and then RTJ. Joe Vicious. 
And now all four men are down. We got less than five minutes left in this match. All men are down. I don't know what to think. Who's gonna get to their feet? You know that the real outlaws are gonna come out with victory. Come on. Come RWA on, Outlaws starting to come stir. Come on, boys, get up. Now Texas Outlaws starting to stir. Wayne, Wayne and Romero El Royal Cruz. We're about to meet in the middle of the ring right here. Mano a mano. Yes! Shot by Cruz, oh. shot by Wayne. Back and forth. Come on. Trading blows. This match is taking so much out of all four men. Wayne up and under. No. Oh, low bridge. There goes Cruz. And now, Wayne blocks that chop. Meanwhile, White on the outside. Wayne, RTJ in the middle of the ring. And now, what's he got? Oh, RTJ with that knee. Roll up. One, two, three. Yes! We. Yes! Our we are the champions! And new RWA Still, Tag Team I'm champion. going to celebrate with my boys! Yeah. RWA you Outlaws! You saw it there, Cruz. Had the tights. But nevertheless, your new RWA Tag Team Champions, Romero El Rio Cruz. RTJ, the RWA Outlaws, they become the first ever Rose Wrestling Academy Tag Team Champion. You see Ryan Belfort celebrating with him. What a hard fought match. Give it to Wayne and White. They gave everything they could. But in the end, again, Cruz rolled up Wayne. Or excuse me, Wyatt had it and had a handful of tights on top of it. But Wayne had rolled up, blocked the vision of our referee. And he made the three count. And now, the RWA Outlaws at Tag Team Gold. We're the most dangerous team in all of independent wrestling, and this shows you why. We don't have anything to say other than real outlaws. On behalf of everybody at the Rose Wrestling Academy, thank you so much for joining us for this 10th showcase. Don't forget, action lives here. If you want to be a part of this, RoseWrestlingAcademy.com. For Ryan Belfort, I'm Stu Meyer. Again, thanks so much for joining us. Good night from Williamson County.
are the main event. We make the ratings soar. Kill the competition. Back to the drawing board. Captivate millions of homes. Pay per view by scores. Got the belt around our waist as they tune up the band. Putting on the show. We do it for the fans. From the ringside seats to the upper stands. Our opponents don't want to stand. Threw a punch and one broke his hand. We gon' take that mountain, pound him till we hear him tapping. Hear him tapping. We gon' take that limb and crank it till we hear it snapping. Hear it snapping. We gon' rash that throat and squeeze it till we hear him napping. Hear him napping. Mikey Ruckus puts us in the zone when we hear him rapping. Train like we'd never have. The blood, the sweat, the tears. We plan a dynasty, one that will last for years. Through all the booze and cheers, we are your greatest fear. And we're so far ahead, you're in our rear view mirror. Thinking it's a game, 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 thinking it's a game. I ain't choose the fight, the fight chose me. We challenge for the titles, we are proposing. The rising of your careers, we are disposing. Dismantling of your legacy, we are disclosing. Look at all these profits that we are grossing. This movement's more than a region, we're reaching globally. Take a look around, a look around. it's rather ghostly. Cause you took out all the competition that we foresee. Thinking it's a game, thinking it's a game.